Firewall rules allows you to define how you want to control network access for one or more devices. A rule has four basic elements. Take an action, when traffic matches the targets, on a device, follow a schedule. Let's take this example. We want to block YouTube on Bob's iPhone between 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. on weekdays. Tap on Add Rule. For action, we select Block. The Allow action can be used if you want to give exceptions to blocking rules. Rules target can be an application, a region name, a category of sites, or a combination of domain, IP, and port. We can also use domain name like start.facebook.com or start.adult to block top-level domain. To block YouTube, tap on App and select YouTube. A rule can be applied to all devices, a network segment, a group of devices, or an individual device. Here we choose Bob's iPhone from the list. Scheduling is useful if you want to run the schedule automatically. To choose between always, a specific time of day, or one time only. In this example, we want the rule to take effect every week, Monday to Friday, from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. the next day. Tap Save. A new rule is now created. If you're using Firewalla as a router, you can use rules to manage traffic between local networks. Let's take a look at this example. We have created several network segments in our home, and we want to block any traffic coming from the IoT network to our home office network. When choosing a target, select Local Network. We can select the IoT network, Traffic from IoT, and apply to the home office network. Let's look at how the rules are related to each other. When we have multiple rules defined, if there is no conflict, the device inherits from its network rules and global rules. For example, if a network has a rule to block all games and there are no other rules to allow at device level, then all devices in that network will have games blocked. If there is a conflict, device or device group rules will take precedence over network rules. Network rules will take precedence over global rules. In addition, allow rules will take precedence over block rules when they are applied to the same device or network. For example, on a device, if you allow the region US and at the same time block YouTube, the device will still be able to access YouTube because YouTube is based in the US. In addition, to help reduce complexity, when the device joins a group, all previously defined device level rules will be removed, and the device will take on the group rules. If you suspect a rule is causing trouble, you can use the diagnostic tool to pinpoint the issue. At Rules UI, tap this icon. Then, Diagnostics, type in the website being blocked, and select which device is having an issue. The result will show you whether the block is related to an existing rule. You can tap on a rule to pause or delete it. If you want a quick way to fix the problem, you can turn on emergency access mode under the rules diagnostics. This will turn off all rules in the system for all devices. You can also turn on emergency access mode under the device screen, which will only impact that device. If you want to know more about rules management, click on the link at the comment section.